Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because figure images, brand new figure images are breaking through as we speak. There are loads, there are so many, um, but one of the uh, figure images that we have to talk about first, look at this, look at this, I'm not sure if people are going to be that giddy about this. We're giddy about this because we know what this is. This is a battle pack of the first women's match from uh, UAE over in Saudi Arabia. Uh, WWE went over there last year uh, and uh, the first ever women's wrestling match took place. It was Sasha Banks against Alexa Bliss. They had to cover up. Uh, they had to be respectful, um, and I just love the fact that Mattel have, have captured that moment in figure form. This is such an important moment. The crowd, whilst this match was taking place, the crowd over in the UAE, uh, which is a country over in the Middle East, um, they were actually chanting, this is hope. This is hope. Uh, so it was such a big moment and now you can get it as Mattel figures. I absolutely, I, I cannot stress how much I love those figures as well. They look amazing. Uh, right, let's go through because guys, I'm not just saying this. There is about a ton of new figures to go through. Uh, right, let's start with this. Uh, here you can see the brand new Ruby Riot. Uh, you can see it's got new tattoo detail on the leg. Um, in fact, I think there's quite a bit of new tattoo work on there. Uh, obviously a different attire to her NXT TakeOver Elite. Different face as well. Uh, still the same face, but different face scan, facial expression. Uh, for a basic, I think that looks really good. I'm really, really impressed with that. Next up, Tony Nice. This was announced, I think, yesterday. Uh, I held off doing a video on it because I knew all of this stuff was coming. Uh, and actually, this is a better image of it anyway. So uh, I'm glad that I did wait. That looks great. That is his first time to line. Um, obviously, not the most exciting ring attire-wise, but I love the face scan on that. I think they've absolutely nailed it. So... Great job there. Uh, it comes with a chase variant as well. Uh, if you get it right, why not uh, make it a chase? And that's what they've done. They've got it right and they've made it a chase. So I actually like this version. I prefer this version. I think the ring attire, it's just got a little bit more colour to it. So very cool. Next up, we got the Ultimate Warrior. It is always great to have the Warrior in the line. Not sure where this ring attire is from. Uh, yellow with uh, obviously a bit of orange. The boots are white. I love the face on this. I am just so impressed with the face scan technology at the moment. Uh, and the work they're doing with the, the lightnesses. So uh, yeah, great looking figure. Great looking basic. Next up, another basic. Finn Balor. This is Finn Balor in white attire. Uh, how about that? Uh, again, you would look at it and think, uh, not too much to get excited about. But I actually think there's quite a lot here uh, because I think the ring attire is really classy. I love that. Again, I think they're just nailing the faces now. Like these past 12 months or so, really since True FX came in, they've just they've gone to a whole new level. A whole new level. And that's really starting to show through in these basics. And also, I don't know if you can see. I honestly don't know if there's going to be pictures of these. So we might as well talk about them whilst we can see them. Is that Basic Series 100 at the bottom? Uh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. Can you see it says like Series 100? I've got a feeling that series is going to be all legends. Uh, it's going to be something special, isn't it? So... Maybe there'll be a picture of that coming up. I, I haven't seen yet. Uh, but there we go. Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker look like they're in Series 100. Then we've got this uh, picture of Elias. I'm not too keen on it, to tell the truth. I just feel like he's a bit too muscular. Um, nothing against Elias. I just think they maybe could have toned that down a little bit. I think the face scan's okay. I just think there's better Elias figures, but... 
Hey, it's always welcome to have an Elias in the line. We need to carry on. Brett, Hitman Heart, look at this. Brett the Hitman Heart, again, that's a basic. Um, and yeah, we haven't had a basic Brett Hart for a long, long time. So super excited for that. Uh, pink on top, black at the bottom. Um, love it. Yeah, brilliant. Next up, we've got Jeff Hardy. Uh, look at that, all in black. Uh, he's got the face paint on as well. Uh, Jeff Hardy's are just going to do so well. That Elite 67. So many people are asking me where they can find that. Uh, I know that Wrestling Shop was saying it's the most popular pre-order that they've got. So, yeah, people are desperate for these Jeff Hardys. So, makes sense to bring another one into the line. And also, just underneath Jeff Hardy's feet, I can see Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I think that's John Cena next to him in that uh, Basic Series 100 line. Also, Razor Ramon at the back, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get to him. Uh, next, we got The Miz uh, in white attire. Again, very classy. Uh, great face as well. Can we just take a second to look at that face? Because uh, a lot of recent Miz figures have not had the best heads. I've been very critical, actually, of uh, quite a few of the recent ones. That, that is brilliant. They have nailed the hair. Uh, and they have got a great face on that. Really impressive stuff. Uh, looks like he's going to be a chase as well because here is a variant and I much prefer the variant. Uh, the other one which is white and classy is cool but this one, black uh, with a little bit of colour in there, a little bit of orange. Is it orange and yellow? Um, yeah, really into that and there's a cheeky AJ Styles in the background as well that's... Uh, Kind of taking my attention. Uh, there is the bad guy, Reza Ramon. Yes, look at that. Uh, black ring attire with a gold logo. Gold razor logos on the knee pads as well. That is great. Love the face on that. And it, and it feels different to a Scott Hall figure. We've had quite a few Scott Hall figures. Uh, but Razor does feel a little bit different, so uh, yeah, loving that. I'll have to find out what ring attire that's from, because uh, I, I can't recall off the top of my head, uh, but uh, yeah, love it. There is that AJ Styles. Things that come to mind, there's no logo on the gloves, on the inside of the gloves. Of course, this is a basic, so maybe it's not going to have the same level of detail as the Elite figure. It's certainly not going to have the same level of articulation. Uh, face scan, I wish there was a bit more animation in the face. I think they're doing a great job with the hair. I think the face is fine. I just, I would like a bit more expression, if I'm being honest. Um, but ring attire, love it. Black with a bit of purple. Uh, I think that really stands out. That's a, it's a good figure. Uh, it is a good figure. Uh, so we've got all of those. Guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how many pictures. We've got loads to go through. I hope you're sitting comfortable. Next, we've got the bar. Uh, loving that. Look at that. He's even got that tape. Cesaro's got the surgical support tape, uh, which uh, I really like that. Uh, not sure about Seamus's head. It feels like he needs a bit of an expression. I like the beard on it. The mohawk's pretty cool. Ring attire's fine. I think as a battle pack, it's cool. Uh, I think the thing that excites me the most is that tape on Cesaro. Uh, next up, wow! Wow! Look at that! Goldberg! And Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is amazing. Look at that shirt. I am loving that t-shirt on Stone Cold. Uh, we've never had that before. Uh, obviously, we've had very few uh, Goldberg figures. And we've never had him in this attire either. Uh, the uh, trunks with the... Well, they're like shorts, aren't they? With uh, one side white, the other side black. Uh, moody facial expression on Goldberg. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Pretty standard stuff apart from that shirt. I tell you what though, that is a really fun pack. That is a really fun pack. You get the knee braces on Stone Cold as well. Yeah, loving that. And then uh, we've got, this must be from Survivor Series. Braun Strowman with a painted raw top. And then The Miz 
with a painted Smackdown Live top. So, uh, yeah, from what I can see of that, not too keen, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm not too keen. I much prefer that to have been like a cloth shirt accessory with like an elite figure. Uh, I'm just not sure how many times you would use that figure or where would you display that figure. Not sure on that one. That's uh, one of the weaker reveals that we've seen so far. Uh, next up, we've got Triple... Oh, my God! Oh, they made it! Triple H with the shorts! Oh, people are going to go crazy for that. People are going to lose their minds over that figure. People have been waiting for this version of Triple H for a long time. Wow, Triple H, not in trunks, but in shorts. Love it. Absolutely love it. Like, that's it. I mean, that looks like a battle pack. I need that battle pack. Uh, so we've got Triple H and another Goldberg. It looks like 2019 is going to be the year of Goldberg. Uh, so, yeah, that is all about that Triple H, though. All about that Triple H. Uh, guys, we've got to continue. Uh, we've got, look at this, Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox comes with a funky hat. Uh, I believe this is an elite figure. So Alicia Fox getting an elite figure. Uh, it's got to be elite, hasn't it, because of that hat accessory. Um, don't know if she'll come. She'll surely come with something else. Uh, I don't know what else they can put with her. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that looks like it's going to be a great figure. So, uh, loving that. And I am definitely loving this. Is that Don Morocco? <gasps> Guys, I think that's Don Morocco. Let me see what the comments are saying. Is that Don Morocco? Is that Don Morocco? Everyone's saying, is that Don Morocco? Uh, yes, it looks like it is Don Morocco. An absolute legend. I know a lot of you watching this might not be familiar with Don Morocco. Uh, but he was around, like, I want to say in the 80s. I don't think early 90s, but he might have been. Um, and uh, certainly the earlier years of WrestleMania. Uh, a really, really big name in the history of wrestling. Uh, someone we've never had before. That is absolutely brilliant. That is uh, one of my favourite things we've seen so far. Uh, next, we've got another elite Jeff Hardy on the way. Uh, I don't think you can have too many, as we've said earlier in this video. Super popular. Uh, I know that uh, his pre-orders are going crazy online. So uh, people, I think, will be really into that. Looks like he's got, like, braided hair, uh, which is uh, really cool. That obviously uh, puts him in a certain era. Uh, not like, it's not a modern era Jeff Hardy. Uh, so, can't wait to see that one when it's finished. It's just that it's prototype stage. Uh, that's obviously not going to come out with a blue head. <laughs> uh, we've got Seth Rollins in S.H.I.E.L.D. attire. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, I can't quite tell what run that's from. I feel like it's a recent run because he hasn't got any highlights in his hair. Um, face on that is amazing. Uh, again, that face scan technology, the hair sculpts, absolutely brilliant. Next up, we've got Drew McIntyre, uh, another Drew Elite on the way. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to go into the normal Elite line. The last one was in the NXT TakeOver line. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a different hair sculpt. I think the face might be the same. I would have to compare it, but... Definitely the hair feels different on this one, um, and it looks brilliant, big, imposing, yeah, looks great. Wow, look, we got Finn Balor, Finn Balor in white, is it white or grey? Can't quite tell because of the picture, uh, but it certainly looks like it's light white or light grey. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is great. Uh, love the jacket on that. It's about time that we got a Finn Balor in the, uh, elite line that kind of represented how he normally looks. Uh, we tend to get, like, the Demon King, which is brilliant, but he rarely dresses as the Demon King. Uh, so this is going to be a very, very welcome addition. Uh, and wow, look at that. AJ Styles with the logos on the gloves. Black. With uh, neon colours down the side. That is exactly how he looks now. That's amazing. Um, in fact, I swear he wore that exact outfit on Smackdown last week. So, uh, very impressive. 
Um, yeah, I'm into that. I'm really into that. That is gonna that is gonna fly. Literally, people are gonna be desperate for that. Uh, and then we have got Seth Rollins in his Tron attire. I don't know why they're releasing that again. We've had that as an elite figure before in that attire. Uh, obviously, they've updated the head on this. Um, but yeah, not too sure why they feel a need to release that one again. I think he has been wearing that attire uh, recently. But um, yeah, I can't say I'm too excited for that one. I, I kind of feel like we've had that already. Right, guys, I can tell you there is even more. Uh, so next up, Bobby Lashley. Finally, we get to see the Bobby Lashley figure. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for this. We saw the computer-generated images, and it looks awesome. They've done a great job, a great job with that. So impressive uh, with the bandana and everything. And we can see a Mustafa Ali in the background. I think that's a Tommaso Chomper uh, that's on that stand as well. Um, I don't want to get too distracted, but that Bobby Lashley is awesome. Next up, look at this. We've got Ricochet. Wow! Ricochet gets a figure. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, obviously, it needs to be painted. This is just a prototype, but that is so cool. I am really, really into the look of that. That is going to be incredible once it's finished. Um, obviously, that's an elite. You can see it's got the uh, changeable hands. Uh, it looks like it's got like the entrance attire as well. I don't know if that will go into an NXT TakeOver line. It might do. Obviously, he's on the main roster now, but love it. Uh, we've got that Mustafa Ali. That is brilliant. Love the entrance mask on that. He's even got the detail on the hand. Uh, so, yeah, they've really gone to town with that one. Uh, again, this is just a prototype at this stage. They really are showing us a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, next, we've got Sonya Deville. Looks like she's getting an elite figure with some entrance gear. Uh, again, I'm wondering, uh, is she going to be... In the, I don't think they'll put her in the main line. Maybe she'll go as a Walgreens uh, women's division or something like that. But that is brilliant. Uh, that's Sonia Deville. Um, absolutely loving that. Liv Morgan, we've spoken about her before, uh, but it's always worth looking at her again because some of you might not have seen the video that we did on that. But can you see the Miz in the background? Uh, the Miz in the background with that jacket and all of that. Uh, detail. Looks like he's got some amazing glasses. Uh, I'm sure that we will get to that picture, uh, but that Miz looks absolutely incredible. Uh, right, so we've looked at all of those. Uh, next, uh, is that Gorilla Monsoon? Oh, Gorilla Monsoon! No way! No way! Ah, oh, they've made Gorilla! They've made Gorilla Monsoon! Oh, that is incredible. That, that's it. That's number one. That, nothing beats that. Nothing beats Gorilla Monsoon. Uh, one of the greatest commentators of all time. One of the nicest guys in wrestling. Used to be a former wrestler. Uh, just, I mean, legend doesn't do enough justice. Gorilla Monsoon gets a Mattel figure. Uh, right, let's carry on, but there's even more, guys. Um, we've got Matt Hardy. Uh, you can see on screen Matt Hardy uh, with a retro figure looking really cool. Um, loving the look of that. Elias gets a retro figure with a little guitar as well. <laughs> That's great. That is, that is a lot of fun. I'm loving that. Love the face on that. Not too keen on the body, but it, it's just a retro. But look at that. You get a little guitar. Reminds me of uh, the Honky Tonk Man. You got a guitar with the Honky Tonk Man. Uh, junkyard Dog. Yes. Uh, we've been a while since we had a Junkyard Dog figure, and he definitely deserves a retro. That's a really exciting retro, because he's a retro wrestler. So he deserves a retro figure. Uh, but that is brilliant. And then Diesel. Wow, Diesel. 
Diesel never got a Hasbro. Uh, he was like on the verge of getting a Hasbro and then uh, obviously they stopped making them. Uh, but now it looks like you can get a retro Diesel. That is going to absolutely fly. People are going to go crazy for that Diesel. Hopefully people go crazy for the Junkyard Dog. And I'm sure people will go crazy. Do you know what? People are going to go crazy for all of them. That is a great series. That is a fantastic series. Uh, right, next up, it looks like we've got pictures of the ultimate deletion. Uh, we did see uh, images doing the rounds of this before. Uh, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, you get Moa of Lawns, Vanguard One, uh, Woken Matt Hardy. Uh, you get the dilapidated boat, is it? Uh, Bray Wyatt as well. Um, you get a lot with this. This is a really fun, really fun uh, epic moment set. And I love the face on Matt Hardy. Looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm guessing they're going to paint something onto his t-shirt. Maybe it'll say Mower of Lawn or something like that. But that's got to be maybe the best epic moment set they've done so far. And the final load of figures we've got uh, looks like these are prototypes um, and that is the much anticipated Sarah Logan. Need that Sarah Logan because obviously uh, if you want the Riot Squad we've had Ruby, we've had Liv Morgan. Looks like Sarah Logan is on the way. Um, bit of a shame it's a basic. Kind of was hoping for an elite but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, at least you'll be able to get the Riot Squad. Um, and then we've got Adam Cole, baby! And he's in the middle of doing that as well. Adam Cole with another figure on the way. Um, that uh, epic moment set, which, pff, I don't know, maybe that epic moment set was the best. But, uh, yeah, stunning. Looks like they're redoing it all. Um, so, Adam Cole. Uh, and we've got, is that Johnny Gagano? Looks like we've got another Johnny Wrestling figure coming. Uh, you can see that they're really in the early stages of doing the faces. Um, but yeah, that looks to me like it's going to be Johnny Wrestling. Looks like it's going to be a great Johnny Wrestling. As well as that EC3. EC3 is going to be getting an elite figure. Uh, wow. EC3. Uh, we've got a brand new John Cena as well with his hair. His new hairstyle. Uh, this is really cool, like, to be able to see the figures this early. Absolutely loving this. Uh, and then we've got a big show as well. Uh, another big show figure on the way. That is incredible. And uh, I think, I think that's it for now. Guys, how about that? I thought I was going to bring you about 10, maybe 15 pictures I don't even know how many things we've spoken about. Off the top of my head, uh, I would say the three best things I saw. I'm going to have to try and remember everything now. Three best things I saw, without a shadow of a doubt. Number one, Gorilla Monsoon. Gorilla Monsoon, the best thing that I saw in all of that. Um, an absolute legend. It'll be his first time to line. Not a figure I ever expected to get. And uh, I, I cannot wait. I don't care how much it costs me to get that figure into my collection. I am getting that figure. Uh, second best thing, uh, I would say probably that battle pack. Uh, Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss. I was really hoping that they would do it. Uh, I'm really grateful that they did. I think it was a very important moment. Uh, and yeah, super excited for that. Uh, and then the third... Best thing I saw might have been that Triple H. Uh, people have been waiting for that Triple H for a long time. Uh, so the fact that we're getting that. Of course, I mean, it's hard to not say Diesel. Uh, it's hard to not say that Junkyard Dog Retro. They all deserve a mention. I feel like there's probably another million that I should be mentioning. But guys, let me know in the comments below. What was your favourite thing that we saw? Because uh, we saw a lot. And I definitely could be forgetting something. But Gorilla Monsoon is 100% my number one. Awesome, guys. Mattel, you killed it. You killed it. You knocked it out of the park. I love you more.
uh, and I didn't think that was possible, but I do love you more right now than I did before this video began. Uh, awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.